Hello, everybody, and welcome to Corel Painter Lite. Uh, this is part six of a series of videos uh, about how to get started with Corel Painter Lite. My name is Skip Allen, and uh, this will probably be our last video. I'm not sure yet. depends on how much I get done. But let's get started, and I want to go over some things that we haven't hit that we really need to. I want to come over here to the color palette, which has the color panel, the mixer panel, and the color set uh, panel inside of it. Um, and the color panel is fairly, you know, self-explanatory. You just click on the, this is the hue ring, and that will give you a particular hue, and then you can adjust the value or uh, saturation in the value saturation triangle. So that's really all there is to that. But I really love a mixer pad. And so I'm going to bring this mixer pad out over here. And I think I'll, we'll put it down here near the bottom for the moment. And what you have on there is the standard or default mixer pad, which has, you know, nice reds, orange, yellows, greens, and so forth. And they're kind of mixed together, mixed with white, mixed with black. And then you have a grayscale uh, down here. And, and that's fine. I, I, you know, it's a good good co uh, color mixing pad, but I like to make my own. <laughs> and so that's what I kind of want to do here, show you how to make your own color set. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is watch these colors up here at the top. Well, first thing I'm going to do is delete the current. I'm going to clear the mixer pad. So that clears the mixer pad. Now, I don't particularly like the gray brown either. So if I click on my option button, I can come here to change mixer background and I can click on that and that will bring up our um, color um, window and I can change it to white and then say, okay, now it's white. And I like that better. That's just my taste. But if you want to get the default mixer back, you can click here. Now you have three other mixers that were created by uh, other uh, Coral Master Painters. Claudia Salguero created a mixer pad, Greg Newman, and then I created one. Uh, and so you can click on any of these. For instance, we click on Greg's, then that will bring up his. Now I'm going to delete that one as well because I want to show you a couple other things. Now look up here at the top at these uh, swatch pads. As we drag it out, see you get lots more colors showing. Once you start seeing that the colors are not coming in anymore and you get space between these, that means you've got them all open. Okay, so if you open them all up and then bring this up like that, you've got a nice long mixing pad that you can work with. And let's just bring it down here and actually I'm going to bring it up close it up a little more if I can nope that's as much as it'll go I was trying to get, to get a bit under this painting and probably the way to do that would be to hold down my shift my uh, space key and I'll just move the painting up a little bit and that that gives me enough room okay so what how do we work with this mixer pad we have an apply color and we have a sample color and we have a restore mixer pad uh, which will restore it i don't know what it restores it to i guess the uh, default let's see if i click that no it restores the last mixer pad that's what it is okay sorry i wasn't really sure <laughs> shouldn't be doing a how to <laughs> if i don't know how to do it so that restores you to the last mixer pad with the apply color, you can select any color from here. You can also select a color from the color set libraries or from the color wheel. Whatever is loaded currently in the current brush is the, the color that uh, the mixer pad will use. So if I click on this yellow, see how it changed the color to yellow? And I take the brush, I can make a little piece of that yellow there. Now, if I click on, say, this orange, everything changed again, I can put a little orange there. Now, if I want to mix these two colors, 
I just bring them down a little bit. I'm going to grab the other one, bring it down a little bit. And once they begin to touch each other, the mixer brush is in dirty brush mode. So it's going to get dirty. And as it gets dirty, it builds up more of the orange or more of the yellow, depending on what's available. Okay. Then what you can do is you can take your dropper tool and select any of these colors that you've blended together. You can grab another color. Let's say we grab this blue. We come over here and add the blue. And again, if we can mix that blue into here and get that kind of color. Suppose we take some of this green. We put that there and come over and mix some of that color. Cool, huh? All right, so what does that do for us? Well, mixing colors like this gives us um, a wider variety than we can get from using the color wheel, in my, in my opinion. It's also um, similar to uh, traditional painting, and, and this software really emulates that well. So now I'm gonna, I've, I've selected a new simple water brush and I'm going to uh, sample the color and I want to sample that color right there, which is a sort of brown green. I'm gonna add uh, a layer here so I have a new layer to paint on and I'll just start painting some of that color in here to give you an idea of how it's going to work. It's a little bit too small. See, just like that. So you can mix these colors and then add them, use them on your painting. I uh, suppose we want to take this green here and we grab a nice blue from back here. And then we mix these two and we have a real nice blue green and we can put that in this eye here See, just like that okay so you're getting the idea of what the mixer pad does now anytime you're ready to start a new painting or you can you know keep this mixer pad going because you can all uh, you uh, you know you can keep it going because you can keep adding when you close painter it saves it when you open it back up it'll be there waiting waiting for you but if it gets too full and it's too much trouble just delete it and start building again okay now let's talk about the next thing that we need to talk about since we've got color under the way and that's saving documents i really haven't talked about that now, when you've made some sort of, this document has been saved, it's mirror painting. All right, but when you make some sort of um, marks on it, you have the option now to either save it or save as. Now, save it means I'm just gonna take it and save it just as it is now in the same place we saved it before. You don't even have to open up your menu item. You could just go Control-7. But if I click on Save, it now saved it to the spot it was saved in before. So let's come back here and notice that Save is not available for me. Now, Save is, the difference is, or Save As, the difference is Save As is going to save it as something different from what it is now. So let's click on Save As. <clears throat> okay, so we went to the Painter Light example, examples from how to videos, and here's my mirror painting riff. Now, that's the first thing I want you to notice is that the Save As type for Painter is riff. RIF is its native format, and it is the best way to save your documents. So I'm going to set, but I'm not going to save this as mirror painting RIF. I'm going to look at other types. I can also save it as a PSD file or a Photoshop file. Painter will open up um, Photoshop images, and once it saves as a Photoshop image or file, that file can be opened with Photoshop. So 
I can save this, save as mirror painting PSD. Now I've already got one. So when I click on save, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it because it already exists. And I say, yes, I'm going to replace it. All right. The other things that you can save as, you can also save as a TIFF, a PNG, or a JPEG file. Okay. Now it's important, I think, to save and save often. Okay, now let's look at, um, let me see if there's anything, well, the time up on this video. So I think we will end this video now and I will review what we've done so far and see if I need to give you some more information. I promise you if this is the last video, you're going to have a blast with Painter Light. It is a really fun program and, and it, it will allow you to paint uh, like you painted traditionally, but without all the mess. It's really terrific. Alrighty, so I may see you in another video or not. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.